A one-year-old boy is dead. Police believe a 10-year-old boy pulled the trigger. Police are now searching for that 10-year-old's mother. News 5's Amanda Van Allen joins us now live from the 4th District on the southeast side. And Amanda, what charges does that mother face? Well, Danita and Rob, that mom's name is Brittany Nicole McTeer, and she's wanted by police for allegedly obstructing justice and endangering a child. This crime, it happened back on Saturday, but we went to that neighborhood tonight. We spoke with a neighbor who tells us the house where that one year old was killed is a nuisance on the block. He still can't believe what he saw. When the analysts came, they would they brought the baby out. The baby was lifeless. Robert West Sr. lives a few houses away from where baby Isaiah Martin was shot and killed on Saturday. The fire department, the fire truck pulled up and then the ambulance pulled up and then the police pulled up. West says most of the time the 14,000 block of Rexwood Avenue in Cleveland is just fine. But tells News 5 the house where the one year old was shot is a nuisance. Folks coming in and out at all hours. If you live in this neighborhood, you know where all the drama comes from. West says the 10 year old who police say pulled the trigger lives at that home. When I told him authorities have a warrant out for his mom's arrest, he says that's the one person he hasn't seen back here. We haven't seen her since Saturday when she showed up when the incident happened. Police are still hunting for 31 year old Brittany Nicole McTeer. West says he's frustrated that there's so much commotion going on surrounding the shooting that folks are forgetting the victim, an innocent baby boy. When you kill a baby, then that becomes a problem in the neighborhood. Then everybody is, everybody is cautious. Police aren't saying yet whose gun it is and how the 10 year old got access to it. We are live tonight in Cleveland. Amanda Van Allen, News 5.